Hello everyone. So this is an attempt to just give you some simple examples to know the method of tackling the example for your JE mains or other examinations. Normally what happens in mathematics, if you want to solve a problem, number of different abilities are going to be used. For example, if you want to solve a problem in mathematics, first you need to read the problem carefully. While you read the problem, you need to jot down the important points that are required to solve the problem. Also, you must be able to make out the right formula that should be applied and how to substitute, simplify. So, lot of things that are involved in solving a problem in JE and other examinations or other competitive examinations. And the time factor is also very important. Then how to solve the problems within the stipulated time. So normally what happens, it comes only by the practice. If you are in practice of solving the problems in different types of problems using or keeping a stipulated time, then you can get an idea how to solve the time, how, how to solve the problem within the stipulated time. The required time. Or you can even make use of some important information like this. If some particular problem is very well known to you, it is completely familiar to you and you could easily identify the answer for that particular problem and anyway that problem saves time for the next one. In this way, you need to have a right plan for this particular examination. And of course, in order to solve the problems in mathematics, prerequisites are very important. When you look into a particular problem, the prerequisites have to be listed out. Then only you will be find, you will be able to find out what is the right formula that can be applied to solve the problem. So in that way, so there are some examples what I am going to explain, how to make use of that and what are the principal uh, concepts, how to analyze a problem and what are the prerequisites required to solve a problem. So an attempt is being made to explain those things. Let us take some of the simple examples. I have selected some examples from relations and functions, particularly functions. Let us now take an example. Consider the example. I have an example here. You just read the problem carefully. Reading is very important. I have a function here f of x plus 2 times f of 1 by x. It is given to be 3x. And of course, x is not equal to 0. Even the conditions play a very important role when you read the problem. So this is x is not equal to 0 and there is another condition which is given. This is the given aspect f of x plus 2 of 2 times f of 1 by x is equal to 3x. x is not equal to 0 is the given condition. That is the given one. And now another statement what is given here s is given to be a set. It is a set consisting of all real numbers wherein I have f of x is equal to f of minus x. And then I am expected to know what, how many elements are there in this particular set. Elements are to be found from this particular. Then how to solve this particular problem? Let us see. So we have f of x plus 2 times f of 1 by x is given to be 3x. This is what the main thing. Here what I do, replace x by 1 by x. In this example, in that case, what happens? It becomes f of 1 by x plus 2 times f of x. It is equal to 3 by x. You should know what I am trying to do. I am just replacing x by 1 by x here. So in this particular function, if I replace x by 1 by x, I will get this. And now I have two equations wherein simultaneous equations can be taken from which I can easily evaluate what is f of x. So what I do here is, I have got f of x here, this is f of x, I want to eliminate this f of x here, therefore I will multiply this expression by 2. My interest is to eliminate this, because I want to get f of x, therefore I will just multiply this, I will be getting 2 f of x, 2 times, sorry, 2 times f of 1 by x, plus it is 4 times f of x, which is equal to 6 divided by x. 
multiplying this. So now what I do, I'll solve these two equations. This and this. These two equations are going to be solved by subtracting them. So subtracting, I will be getting subtract. So 2 times f of 1 by x cancels with 2 times f of 1 by x. When I subtract them, I am subtracting like this. This equation, this one. If you want to call it as equation 2 and this is equation 1. So I am taking 2 minus 1. Okay, 2 minus 1. So what does it give me? 2 times f of 1 by x cancels here. 4f of x minus f of x becomes 3 times f of x. 3 times f of x, it is equal to 6 by x minus 3x here. That's what I get. And I will divide it by 3 so that I will be getting f of x, which is equal to 2 divided by x minus 3, 2 divided by x minus x. So, I could find the function which can satisfy this condition. I could find this function which can satisfy this. Now, I need to go for this condition. Let me consider that one. So, what I do? I will consider f of x. It is equal to f of minus x. I need to find those values of x which can satisfy this. Okay. What is f of x minus f, f of minus x here? This is 2 divided by x minus x here and now so write the same function replacing x by minus x what happens minus 2 divided by x and this is plus x okay so so this 2 by x becomes minus 2 by x minus of minus x becomes plus x i'll transfer x on this side 2 by x on this side so 4 by x will be equal to 2x Therefore, x square it is equal to 2 and x value can be taken as plus or minus root 2. Root 2. So, what happens now? So, I have got two values of x only, two values which can satisfy that condition. Therefore, the set consists of what? Exactly two elements. So, the answer 3 becomes the answer for this example. So, you have to have the familiarity of this type of change in order to find the function. When this combination is given, it is possible to find out the value of f of x. Thereby, we can easily calculate that expression. So similarly, we shall consider the second example. What is the second example here? There is a real value of function f of a function f of x, which satisfies this particular condition. I will write this statement. You observe f of x minus y it is given to be f of x, f of y minus f of a minus x into f of a plus y. This is the given condition. Also, there is one more condition which is given that f of 0, it is equal to 1. f of 0 equal to 1. These are the conditions which are given and I need to find the value of f of 2a minus 6. So now do we do? Let us have two different methods to work out that. I will first discuss one method. Let us see what happens here. So if I substitute x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 0 into the equation, right? Put x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 0 into the equation. Then what happens? On the left hand side we have f of 0 and here this is f of 0 into f of 0 becomes f of 0 into f of 0 here minus this is f of a into f of a. So what happens f of 0 into f of 0 it is 1 that cancels with this. Therefore I have this f of a whole square equal to 0 minus f of a whole square equal to 0. Hence f of a it is equal to what 0. So I have evaluated the value of this particular function f of a equal to 0. I know f of 0 equal to 1 and f of a equal to 0. Let us now calculate f of 2a minus x. Observe this one carefully. I will write f of 2a minus x in the form of it is f of a minus of x minus a. 
no problem you can write like 2a minus x in the form of this one okay so i will expand this one substituting in place of x a in place of y it is x minus a so what happens f of x means f of a this is f of a right this is f of x and what is f of y f of y is f of x minus a f of x minus a here this is f of x minus a okay so now this is minus what is f of this a minus of x a minus of x x is what a therefore a minus a becomes what zero it is f of zero into this f of x f of what is it we need to have a plus y y is what x minus a if i add a to that a cancels and i will be getting x this is what i get so that f of 2a minus x it is equal to what is f of a it is 0 this term becomes 0 here and what is f of 0 it is 1 and therefore it is minus of f of x so i am getting the answer as minus f of x so this is the answer what we have f of minus f of x this is one simple method which can be applied to solve the problem this is one method let us go for another method to solve the problem the same problem can be solved so what is given here f of x minus y it is equal to f of x i am using the alternate method for this f of y minus f of a minus x into f of a plus y along with i am given with f of 0 it is equal to 1 what is the other method to identify to solve the problem here you can see if you observe this particular problem we are talking about the compound angle form x minus y and this type of expansion will be there only for trigonometric function that to compound angle so in particular i will select a function let f of x be equal to let f of x be equal to cos x let me see whether cos x can satisfy this condition or not anyway it satisfies directly f of 0 is equal to 1 f of 0 is equal to 1 it satisfies this condition so therefore and also this satisfies this condition also see i can just verify it f of x minus y it is nothing but cos of x minus y so therefore it is cos of what x into cos of y plus sin x into sin y sin x into sin y now what happens here whether it is is it possible to express that in the form of this one so a is to be identified a is a constant this i should verify whether this condition is possible for example see i can write this expression as cos x into cos y okay plus or i can write this one i can write sin x i'll write this minus sign as it is sin x i will write it in the form of cos of pi by 2 minus x cos of pi by 2 minus x is sin x and i want to write sin y here and i've already changed the sign i will write this one in the form of cos of it is pi by 2 plus y see the function what i have defined here satisfies the given conditions the exact condition is satisfied by the function f of x equal to cos x this is only to identify the function so once you identify it i want to get what f of 2a minus x so what is in place of a a is equal to pi by 2 and therefore 2a minus x becomes what f of pi minus x and that is equal to cos of pi minus x what is it minus cos x and that is equal to minus f of x so this is another method in which you can find out the first method is direct approach the second one is identifying a similar function that could satisfy the conditions given so thereby we can get the answer easily this is also a method which can be used to solve the problem